The weather's heating up and growing season is near in South Jersey. For this episode of On the Road, we are at the Rutgers Cooperative Extension of Atlantic County with these two who are gonna tell us all about how to keep your garden good throughout the year. We're gonna do a little bit of planting as well. You're on the road. All right, so now we are inside their demo garden here in uh, May's Landing. We have a bunch of different plants. We're gonna talk about them a little bit, talk about the growing season, and talk about the Master Gardener program and how it can help out your garden. So we have two guests here joined here with us today. If you guys can introduce yourself, that would be great. We appreciate it. I am Belinda Chester. I am the Master Gardener program coordinator for Atlantic County. And I'm Rick Van Branken, Atlantic County Agricultural Agent here at Rutgers Cooperative Extension. All right, and tell us how long you've been uh, working here for. Um, I have been the program coordinator for two years, but I've actually been a master gardener for five years. Yeah. I know and you've been around for a while. I've been around for a while. I, I'm starting my 37th season here in Atlanta County <laughs> as of last month. <laughs> so you've seen it all. <laughs> I've seen a bit. You've seen a bit and then some. So, you know, I think <clears throat> many people may not even be familiar with how Rutgers is involved with the state, you know, all throughout New Jersey. And just tell us how the Rutgers Cooperative Extension helps individual people when it comes to gardening throughout the season. Well, there, there are 21 county offices across the state. Each county has a combination of agricultural uh, support, uh, family and consumer sciences support, and 4-H youth development. Some counties along the coast also have uh, marine uh, agents, uh, and several counties have uh, natural resource agents that deal with environmental issues. Sure, sure. And the Master Gardening Program specifically, um, tell us a little bit about that and how one can be a Master Gardener and then if you could also tell us, you know, let's say I'm trying to plant, you know, during the spring, during April, what, how can the Master Gardener help me? Okay, so the Master Gardener Program is really directed at educating the public on um, home horticulture practices. So um, our Master Gardeners take um, a pretty intensive um, educational class that lasts for 20 weeks. Um, actually, this year's class is going to go through 24 classes. Um, and it goes through a variety of, um, of classes that go anywhere from basic botany all the way up to very specific classes on um, small fruits, vegetables, um, insects, pe pest identification, um, weed identification. So we give them um, basically a, a very condensed version of um, almost a semester at a time every week okay and um, what they do is they work our helpline and they also work events throughout the county throughout um, the entire year and they answer questions for um, we're available all the time for any residents in the county you can call our county offices and we have master gardeners here to answer sure. um, or I'm here to answer Rick is here to answer so tell us what we have going on here what kind of plants do we have um, and tell us what we're actually going to be uh, doing a little demo planting of in a little bit okay so what we have here um, is we kind of have a huge variety of cool season vegetables because um, here at our demo garden what we start out with is um, um, we kind of succession plan our demo garden. So we start out the year, we plan out our garden, um, and we start with what are we going to do um, starting in April and May. So the first thing we do are our lettuces, our cabbages. Um, we've got a little broccoli here, some celery, um, some collards. Um, we've got some Swiss chard. Um, so what we do is um, we start with these, and we run these until um, end of May, early June. Um, and then as we're doing that, um, inside we start our summer vegetables. So about the time that those vegetables are ready to go in, these will actually be starting to um, what we call bolt. They'll go to seed. Okay. So we'll take those out and then we'll replace those with our summer vegetables, yeah. um, which we or do. Or harvest them and eat them. That's right. Well, we harvest them. <laughs> That's a yes. good point. <laughs> yes, we do harvest them and eat them. <laughs> yeah. And then... Um, Will, and actually, um, as we harvest these, um, we donate a lot of this to food banks. Okay. Um, we donate some of, the to, some of it to schools um, and then um, some different groups that we work with and we work with them on tasting different vegetables. We're gonna hop on over to the garden. We're gonna do a little planting and we'll be back with you shortly. So you're gonna 
dig a hole mm -hmm. and get that plant down in there. Yeah. Now there's a couple things going on here. There's actually three plants in here. Yep. We could take those apart and plant multiple plants as long as we don't rip all the roots off each one. Uh, or you can plant multiple ones together and then in a few weeks come back and harvest one to eat as baby lettuces and let one grow into a full head. Okay. Okay. Is that how baby lettuce that you would find in a store? This is, is basically from? what baby lettuce is, except in instead of going through that process and saving one to grow, right? They just harvest the whole thing, uh, the whole bed, and uh -huh. start over again. Got it. So, but but the thing is, when you're planting any of them, you don't want to bury too much of them. You can go down to the to that cotyledon stage that we talked about. But if you bury too much above that, then these will rot off in the soil. Okay. And you don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And for this one, you can you want to plant that root ball right up to these. Um, you can go as deep as those cotyledons. Okay. okay. And bury the whole thing. Got it. And the easiest way, tip it over mm -hmm. and tap the bottom. Tip it uh, over. Should I dig first? Tip it over. Yeah, dig a hole. Okay. Tip, tip the plant into your hand, into your other hand. And tap it. And tap top. it, and it'll come out. It should. <laughs> <laughs> Except when the camera's here. Here we go. All right. Oh. A little mangled. Yep. Yeah. Okay, then. I'm going to... Hold it up and put the soil back All in right. around there, and we're good to go. Okay. We'll put that label in so we know what it is. And then we basically create a little mini greenhouse here. Get out of the way. And again, it's a little warm in the sunshine, so we'll take that off mm -hmm. and let it go. So pretty much cap off during the day, cap on at, at night. night. Simple enough. Yep. All right.